The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. For every passionate, prolific point that proceeds from my pen, for every bountifully brilliant, beautiful brushstroke by an artist's hand, for every soulfully soothing sound sensationally sang, for every masterfully melodic momentous symphony ever played, for every catharsis, captivatingly choreographed ballet insists that God exists and this, and gifts of creative expression. Laws of the universe, we intuit. We capture time via sheet music. Measure greatness in plie. Defy the grave on stage. Staining canvas is our way of getting the God out. It shouts from our soul to thunderous to control. It holds our mind, mouth, and limbs proxy to stop the nothing from consuming us all as artists. We are called, or born rather with a God complex, causing us to manifest miraculous montages to the macrocosm, causing effective reflective thought in collective observers who've heard or I witnessed a sentence performer, just as a zygote to be heaven's ode to imaginations, authors of creation outlasting ancient civilization, serving as our calibrations on this earth. We birth permanent footprints, remnants of the God in me. Mortality is no place for an artist to be. Eternity suits our fancy, so hand in hand we Travel across the galactic span of time as divine beings, never seeing the last chapter, we've mastered the fountain of youth. As creators, it's our nature to interpret the truth, to express our best, our worst, what heals, what hurts the universe. Gave me infinity with my introduction to this ink and we shall scribble on for centuries like William Shakespeare's indestructible vocabulary, Picasso's invincible hues, Billie Holiday's unconquerable blues, or Michael Jackson's bulletproof patent leather dancing shoes. Life is the most precious thing given you, so we imitate the present, conveying lessons we've learned. In return, we earn death's refusal, God's approval. The knowledge of these things delivers me hopeful. I create myself immortal.